Welcome. I am Megan Dieter with Welliver Outdoors. I'm going to give a brief informational talk on America's native pollinator, the solitary bees. There are about 300 different subspecies of solitary bees in North America, made up mainly of the mason bee and the leafcutter bee. These bees are solitary, so they only live for one year, and they don't have a hive, they don't have a queen, and they don't make honey, but they can pollinate 10 times more than honeybees, making them essential to the crop and food production in North America. Female mason bees will lay eggs in cavities. They look for something like a bug born an old log, or a woodpecker hole, or a hollow reed. The well of our mason bee house imitates these cavities with replaceable corrugated tubes sized for the mason bees. Female mason bees will lay eggs in these tubes. They create cells by putting a nectar pollen packet in, laying the egg, and then creating a mud wall. This is where they get the term mason. They are not carpenter bees. They cannot excavate their own holes, so they do not pose a problem to your woodwork. Each tube in the house will fit about six eggs. When she gets to the end of the tube, she'll cap it with a mud plug. After the, the nesting season, the females will die off. The eggs hatch into larvae and eat up the nectar packet over the summer, and then they cocoon up for the winter when they morph into their adult forms. The following spring, they come out of dormancy at different temperature ranges. The mason bees come out when temperatures are 50 to 55 degrees. They are great for pollinating the early spring flowers and fruit trees. Leaf cutter bees emerge when temperatures are 70 to 75 degrees. They are essential for pollinating the summer gardens. The only difference between the mason bee and the leaf cutter bee's nesting habits is that the leaf cutter bee uses small pieces of leaves to create cells and cap tubes, whereas the mason bee uses mud. Once the bees emerge in the spring, the well of our house utilizes the replaceable corrugated tubes, so you're able to throw away the used tube and replace it with a fresh tube. This is essential for the health of the colony as it prevents any mite infestations from getting in there and decimating the bees by providing them a fresh nesting area every year. The well of our mason bee house can be placed on a wood pile where the bees will be naturally looking to nest or in a garden with the, the exposed tubes facing away from any prevailing winds. In the winter, it can be brought into an unheated garage or shed, but it is essential it remains cold over the winter to, drink, to trigger dormancy and then the emergence the following year. Mason bees are a very easy, low maintenance, low cost alternative to help increase pollination in the area. They are essential for North America's pollination. Thank you.